but we're really pushing water now. Greetings. Welcome to my channel. K Energy and I have teamed up to embark on an exciting journey, replicating the outboard boat motor he ingeniously designed, capable of returning an impressive 50% of its energy back to itself. Our mutual goal is to simultaneously create a scaled-down version of this innovative motor to determine if we can replicate the same remarkable results. Throughout this collaboration, K Energy generously shared his circuitry expertise and knowledge, fostering not only a deeper understanding, but also a strong and enduring friendship. If you're not familiar with K Energy's work, it's time to start paying attention. There's a deep longing to have conversations with brilliant minds like John Bedini, and we often realize the value of their insights only when they're no longer with us. K Energy, on the other hand, is a force to be reckoned with in the realm of energy innovation. I'm truly grateful for the opportunity to engage with him, to share ideas, and collectively push the boundaries of our craft forward. This exchange of knowledge is essential for the constant evolution of our field. What I'm getting at here, for those of you who are still tuned in, is that you belong to a rather exclusive group, a community of highly intelligent individuals who truly grasp the significance of this work. We are a select few, and in many ways, we're like a family. Instead of tearing each other down over differing perspectives, let's make a concerted effort to come together and provide mutual support. Our unity and collaboration are essential because we are a rare and invaluable collective. But enough of that. Let me reveal what we've been working on. In the end, we're all just chalk lines on the concrete, drawn only to be washed away. For the time that I've been given, I am what I am. I'm using a 30 volt power supply connected to a storage capacitor with a diode to prevent energy from flowing back. The motor is connected through an amp meter and an oscilloscope monitors one of the generator coils. Think of it as an air core one-to-one by Filar transformer. It captures voltage spikes from the primary, converts them with a bridge rectifier and stabilizes the output with a filter capacitor. This powers a 120 volt bulb efficiently, reducing waste compared to traditional designs. This sizable rotor magnet is excellent for magnetic coupling. I'm going to utilize this large Newman motor as a generator for a test setup. The goal is to compare the motor's amp draw when running with and without the output being looped back into the input, similar to how Kay approached his boat motor experiment. At two amps, we're obtaining an open circuit voltage of 76 volts. When we introduce a load, you can hear the motor slowing down due to the back EMF produced by the generator. For this baseline measurement, we'll configure the motor to operate at 2 amps. The power supply voltage varies between 1.8 to 1.9 volts. Theoretically, if we connect the motor's output to the storage capacitor, we should observe a decrease in the power supply amperage. Time to power down the motor. Connect the output to the storage capacitor. And make sure it's connected to the correct terminals. Now that everything seems to be in order, let's power it back on. To get the generator coupled, I need to give the rotor a little nudge. Gradually, I'll bring the motor up to 2 amps. It appears that the waveform is now being clipped as energy is transferred to the capacitor. 
The amp draw from the power supply has decreased by 700 milliamps. However, the motor is still drawing 2 amps from the capacitor. This means that the motor is supplying approximately 700 milliamps, or roughly a 35% energy return into the capacitor. The RPMs also increased by 193, so a decrease in power consumption, an increase in RPMs while maintaining 2 amps driving the motor. I think there is something to this. Motor current 3 amps, supply current 1.9 amps, current difference 1.1 amps, 36.6% power reduction. Motor current 4 amps, supply current 2.7 amps, current difference 1.3 amps, 32.5% power reduction. This is just preliminary testing, and I still need to fine tune and tweak the motor for better performance. So far, it's showing promising results. Please feel free to leave any ideas or suggestions in the comments. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.